many, many years ago, I was walking through local heathland and I heard this melodious call and I didn't really know what it was. All of a sudden, this little bird popped out on the track in front of me and uh, there was the western bristlebird and I was absolutely thrilled to see it. It's one of our really rare birds. Most people are probably not aware of it. It's an endangered species and people think, oh, Carnaby's cockatoo. Well, there's about 25,000 Carnaby's cockatoos, but the population of the western bristlebird is well below 1,000. Twenty years ago, we think there were roughly double the number of bristle birds as what there are now. And that's not because we haven't been trying to look after them, it's just because the challenges of fire management and predator management are so high. The western bristle bird hang out in dense, low vegetation, which is highly flammable and therefore at risk from inappropriate fire regimes. Frequent fire is a problem and a really extensive fire is a problem for bristle birds but also it's a problem for a number of other birds, including western whipbird and noisy scrub bird. They're all threatened and knowing where birds are and whether they're still as easy to find as they used to be or not is really important. Everyone goes to Shane's Beach to try and see a whipbird and a bristle bird and a scrub bird, but those other areas, and some of them are really nice areas, just get very little attention. That's where lots of people can help here. If people are in areas like that, and if they do see or hear what they believe to be whip birds or noisy scrub birds or, or bristle birds in particular, then they can submit records to bird data and scientists and managers can use that data to figure out whether they're still in the areas that they need to manage. So if you use your trip to Shane's to learn about these birds and then go and find them elsewhere. That's where you start making a really big contribution. Noisy scrub bird is extremely easy to identify by its call. So is the western bristle bird. It's quite unique. Once you know the call, you know it's there. Get your phone out, get the bird data app going and put that record in. I appreciate that everyone would like to see a western bristlebird or a noisy scrub bird, but please, please stay on tracks. Not only for your own safety, you're not bothering birds, you're not disturbing them, but you could also spread dieback, a disease very prevalent on the south coast of WA, and uh, dieback kills a lot of plants, and these plants are part of the habitat for the threatened species. Often it's just sufficient if you just walk through the heathlands and just listen you hear their calls and it's just such a phenomenal feeling to know you're hearing a species that's so rare. We're very proud of our local species and really like to look after them and hope we can encourage other people to be part of the effort to save species like the western bristlebird.